Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're gonna be covering a number of mega machines as they get transported. Make sure to stick around to see how they move 124 tons of cargo. First up, we have the Sleipner E550 transportation system. It is designed to transport large size excavators on mining sites. When these units are attached to the chains of a crawling crane, it functions similarly to rolling skate shoes. Then, to transport the machine, support is provided by placing its bucket arm in the trailer. Moreover, the Sleipnar E550 is 100% effective and saves 85% of the time and 50% of transportation costs. You are now watching the DB120, which is a trailer-based transport system. It is designed to carry massive bulldozers and drilling equipment weighing up to 120 tons, as well as excavators weighing up to 90 tons. With a tilting bed and high clearance, the DB120 enables on-site transit rates of up to 30 km per hour, increasing operating flexibility and reducing the need for undercarriage repairs. In short, with the Sleipnar DB120, transportation of heavy crawlers is a matter of minutes. Heavy-duty transport trailers often have more than 30 tires. However, having more tires causes problems such as the equalization system failing, tire scrape during turning, and variable retardation due to multiple brakes. The SW450's innovative swing wheel technology solves all of these problems, allowing the load platform to be lowered to the ground with little operator intervention. Because of this, even without the use of an extra ramp, a single person can complete the whole loading procedure within just 10 minutes. It saves both time and money. Up next, we have a Caterpillar water tank that is sitting on a cargo system developed by NHH. Typically, such large cargo needs road inspections before transportation. In certain countries, permission from the government is also required since the weight of the immense load may cause damage to roads and bridges. It is also necessary because the size of the cargo may cause a block for other traffic. However, in Australia, transporters can easily transport the superload as their highways often remain vacant.
Up next, we have a low loader from Panther Series 2. It is designed to carry large equipment weighing in excess of 100 tons. The unit's back is equipped with a hydraulic system. This assists in reducing the trailer's height to the ground and raising it when loaded. It can be fixed at any height level using a remote operator. This gives a high ground clearance when moving. The size of the load is critical in transportation. Transporters make every effort to keep the load as low as possible. This maintains the cargo steady throughout transportation, reduces the amount of work required to load the trailer, and enables carriers to proceed without harming any adjacent property. Here you can see the transfer of a 124 ton cargo that is 12 meters wide and 25 meters long. Brashuis is utilizing their SL trailer to transport such an oversized cargo. The trailer is equipped with 9 axles. It is providing a minimal loading height of 790 mm. Additionally, the trailer can be tilted 57 degrees while entering or exiting the loading dock in reverse. Lastly, we have the Town Hall Lowboy. It is built to withstand the harshest environments, which are most prevalent on mining sites. Due to its compact design, the Town Hall is compatible with a wide range of prime movers, including articulated dump trucks, small rigid frame haul trucks, and heavy-duty over-the-road vehicles. The unit has a low loading angle and excellent ground clearance. Loading is fast and straightforward. The operator can use all of its functions with a single interface. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.